Hello, I'm Danny J Weston, creator of Dolphin Squad, and this is how I make a comic. Okay, I'm not here to teach you how to draw or anything. This isn't a tutorial uh, like that. This is just a brief overview of how I produce a comic book page. I do things perhaps a little differently to how traditional comic book artists might do things. Uh, so I'm hoping that might be helpful or at least interesting for some of you to see. Let's start with a look at my tools. Basic printer paper, budget mechanical pencils, a cup of tea, a fairly old computer with a fairly old version of Photoshop, a Cintiq monitor kindly donated by my sister. As you can see, I'm not particularly precious about the materials I use. Uh, over the years I've learned that I'm just as comfortable using any old pencil and any old bit of paper as I am more expensive specialist stuff really. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at how I use all that stuff to make a comic. First step is to do a storyboard, or some people call it thumbnails. It's basically just a rough version of how you want the page to look based on the script. So I usually do the panel layout on the computer at this point. This is a flashback scene, so I've done wavy panels to really hammer home that flashbackness. The penciling stage is where I differ most from traditional comic book art, I suppose. I use a combination of real pencils and paper and the computer. I tend to draw the foreground art, the characters and things, with a real pencil and then scan them in and do the background pencils and the final pencil layout using Photoshop. Now's a good time to realise your tea's gone cold and go make another cup. With the Dolphin Squad comics, I want them to look somewhere in between a comic and a Saturday morning cartoon. So to achieve that, I do the background art separate to the main foreground art. I like to keep my backgrounds fairly simplistic and use minimal line work, just kind of blocks of colour to give an indication of what's going on. Next up is the inking stage. I use the monitor for this and I do it all digitally. I find it really helpful because I make a lot of mistakes and I can redraw a lot of lines over and over again to get the, just the right simplistic curve. Also at this stage I can correct any mistakes or any changes in the pencils. With the colouring on this one, with it being a flashback scene, I'm using a fairly limited colour palette to really differentiate it from the main comic. Just colour using the, the brush tool. I sometimes use the magic wand for larger areas. If you're not familiar with Photoshop, that probably sounds more impressive. Magic wand than it is. Right, once the colouring's out of the way, I can start adding the final touches. There'll be bits where, because of the way I've laid it out, bits of ink and colour may be overlapping the background, so I need to trim those down. And looking at the background, I think it needs a bit more light blue in there, so quickly just add the floor in there, see if that works. The final step is the lettering, which I do in a fairly standard way, just typing the text out and drawing a bubble around it. So there you go. Interesting, right? Well, that panel was from the third Dolphin Squad book. The uh, first two books are available from deadstarpublishing.co.uk along with loads of other great books and comics and things. Anything to add? Indeed. Thanks for watching.